Junkies. Junkies. So last Saturday, we, we we're, we're here to talk about getting back to normal. And getting back to normal, what does that even look like? That's talk like gathering together with your friends and being able to hang out without worry about the governor's goose stepping goons coming to your door and saying, hey, you got to disperse. Get the hell out of here. So we actually hosted. Um, well, actually, no, we didn't host. But at Culture Junkies HQ last weekend, uh, Wolverine Solid X threw a little shindig for he and his friends, uh, a, Tekken, a Tekken 7 tournament right here in our headquarters with a nice setup. Uh, producer, please run that footage uh, and, and show them kind of what uh, what it was like. So this is kind of what we what, what went on there. Uh, some guys just got together, played some games. It was it was a lot of fun, and it was it just kind of reminded me, you know, of those days when we used to you know get together in the basements and play for hours and hours on end. It, it reminded me of that I just had fun, you know. Even though yeah, there was a tournament going on, but it was just a lot of fun. So. We want to talk about geek reopening. What are the things that we're looking forward to getting back to doing now that the pandemic is kind of passing passing us by? GQ, what's the number one thing that you're looking forward to doing, getting back to normal? Uh, renting a theater this for, uh, Saturday. So You're renting a theater this Saturday? Yeah. For, for Fast 9? Hmm? For what? Fast yeah, 9? right. No, I'm just kidding. I care about Fast 9. Like okay, that. for what? For a movie, because I'm going to a movie. So you're gonna rent out the whole theater just just for yep. yourself, just yeah, for yourself. I'm greedy. Yeah, just go. You ain't Again, this might be the, one of the one of the last or last chances to do so. So I'm going to rent out a theater for you're myself out, it's for yourself. Just mm-hmm. by you're not even going to invite your friends, huh? I've already invited somebody, and she'll be there with me. So there you well, go. Okay, there you go. You know, see, that's that that's that's big baller style right there. It's like, hey, girl, I'm gonna take you to the movie theaters. We're gonna be the only ones in that boy. That's it. Hey, that's that's There's, the way to do it. There is a reason <laughs> my name is what it is. Yeah, there it is. Come that's big now. baller style. Let's be real. Yeah. So, uh, Dada, what's the, what's the big what's the thing you're looking forward to most getting back to doing? Uh, I don't know if that'd be a question for me, man. I love my house. Damn homebody, you don't like to get out and go do something, get in the sun. I got sun in my backyard. <laughs> I mean, my house is where all my stuff is. <laughs> Why wouldn't I like to be there? You got- <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Like you don't want to get out and go to the con. You don't want to go to. What the am movies. I gonna buy at the cons? Oh my god! I could buy it on the internet. You, you you can't even you can't even go along for. You mean going along? This is me going along for the topic. Look, I do like He's going, going to, to watch Cruella. So <laughs> yeah, watch Cruella. Yeah, He's right. gonna watch Cruella. Yeah, if, if, yeah. If you're buying hand, sure, most definitely yeah. I watch it. No, I think he's talking own. about GQ. Who's going to go watch Cruella? I, oh, he is. I, I personally do like going to the movies, but it doesn't hurt me if I'm not at the movie theaters because I just got a brand new couch. It's nice. It's luscious. I mean, I don't have to. Uh, I can pause the movie, go take a pee. I don't miss anything. Uh, but I do like going to the movies. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just you know, to each their own. I, I like my house. I pay a lot of money for that house. I want to be at my house. Honestly, uh, what Preem just said that would make an absolutely awesome soundbite. We need to get that combo breaker. Yeah, because you said GQ with the combo breaker. I've already invited someone. She'll be there with me. Mm-hmm. That that is a way to to kind of just curve the curve the conversation, and also Q Bay Q Three Thousand says, "Yo, I'm renting out a theater to watch the Friday the Thirteenth uh, fan film movie that I'm in. Y'all got to come. Absolutely, well, put nice. that invite Absolutely. out on the Culture Junkies, and we'll see what we can do. Absolutely. So obviously, we know theaters are getting ready to open, uh, and you could tell so uh, because that AMC stock that I bought into like five months ago has just shot up. I'm 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 plus seven hundred profit on that boy right now. Could be even more since I've since I've not looked at it in the past few I definitely like four or five hours. As soon as I saw it, because when I saw it, it was at I think it was like nine dollars when you got oh, talking you about it. Oh, you should have bought in. And I definitely should have bought in. Oh, you should have like, bought in. Uh, yeah, you should have bought in. And man. yeah, I, sh- I definitely should have should have, but I didn't. And you again, I in. am always late to the party. That should be my nickname. Hey, man. You know, Daitakuji always late to the party. Uh, Is know. a there's a very, very good phrase. I, I don't know who said it, but it, it, but it applies to this situation. Scared money don't make money, man. No, I wasn't being scared. Scared, scared as in you didn't take the jump. Yeah, I shouldn't take the jump. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Scared, scared money don't make money. Anyway, <clears throat> Cassidy75 says I made 900 today. That hey, is nice. There, there you go. That's what I talk about. So, honestly. Can't pull it out right away. You're going to be paying some mad-ass taxes on hey, it, though. whatever. I, I'll wait. You know, it's still Hard, it's, You got to hold profit. on to it for a entire year. Yeah. I'm I'm still making profit on it. I'm willing to sit on Just it. Just hopefully anyway, make sure to so be. Anyway, uh... so we're talking about gathering together. 
you know, we want to go, we want to go to the movies. What are the movies we want to go see the most when we go back to the theaters? Black Widow. Black Widow yeah, number I think one. That's probably is, it. is that the number? One, is that the consensus number one for that's everybody? That's gonna be my first movie back in the theater. Th- that's gonna be your first movie, not yeah. first nine. Are we are we gonna go see First Nine in the theater when it comes out? First Nine, Fast is that nine. coming out? Fast Nine, Fast Nine. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, when gonna, it, I'm gonna go see. When it. is that coming out? It comes out what next soon. week? I think yeah. it's next week. Oh, it's before Black Widow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I probably Black Widow probably won't be my first one then. Okay, so what is the consensus movie that we definitely want to go see? We want to go see Black Widow. Well, Black Widow's a, gi- a given. If totally st- given. Like I said, if they're still right. renting theaters when Black Widow's around, I want to do that. Yeah. But um, basically for me, almost every movie. You know, there's there's going to obviously be some that like I don't really care to necessarily see in the theater. But like really? big event movies, uh-huh. got to see them in the theater. Absolutely. Like to me, Fast Nine is I've seen every single one of those in the theater, so I may as well see this one too. Right. Keep the streak alive. Keep yeah. it alive. Uh, Cubay three thousand says I want to see Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters in the mm-hmm. theater. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, City seventy five me the Snyder cut at the dollar movie. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit there for That's four hours. That's not even worth a dollar for me, man. I can't. can't Twenty five cents an hour. I don't know. Yeah. No, no, no. Snyder cut was fine. It was fine. I ain't paying money to go see it in the movie theater, man. I, I no, nah, man. I'm the only reason that. that you're not paying to see it in the theater because you have the option to. If the option wasn't there, you'd have no choice but to see it at the theater. Okay, if you put a gun to my head, said, "See the Snyder cut in the movie theater, don't see it at all," I would have said, "I'm not going to see it at all." Mm-hmm. I just so won't see die it at for all. a movie. No, I said I wouldn't see it at all. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. I would, that doesn't mean he pulled the trigger. I didn't say that. Anyway, that's uh, usually what it means to with a gun to your head. It's either die or do what I'm telling. Okay, you. fine, and kill me then. <laughs> kill okay. me then. Die, um, or die for a movie. All right, is Eternals Fall this in year? Fall at Marvel skipping Fast Night. Shame he says on you. he's skipping Fast Night. I think Shame he's just. I just don't get I, it. I remember he was talking about this before. He he laid out his reasons why he's skipping. I would Fast like to Night. understand it because it's still. Well, I guess you just don't want to see what happened. Me personally, once I begin a story, mm-hmm. it's got to be my my the way I look at anything. If I begin a story, I want to finish that story, and every movie and like that is a different chapter. Human Centipede Part Two. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll make that an exception because I have not watched any of the Human Centipede movies. I watched the first one. Part of me wants to go back and watch one, but that was the first movie. And I've seen some pretty messed up movies. Hmm. I never felt ill from any of those movies. I mean, Cannibal Holocaust, they were literally killing animals in it. Mm-hmm. I, I guess that didn't bother me, but the idea of somebody force fed. Sh- yeah, I got you. The yeah, fish, man. The feces. The yeah, feces. man. Yeah, that man. that made me ill. Snake Eyes, I agree. Hand over Mega. Snake Eyes is another one. I'm gonna yeah, go I see think I want to go see Snake yeah. Eyes, too. Um, <clears throat> so we got Black Widow, Snake Eyes, uh, Fast 9. Um, Eternals is this year, Hand of Omega. That's November, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously Thanksgiving that's past summer. For me, you all know. Marvel movies like Dido said before oh, are, are yeah, theater. Yeah, are they're theater they're experiences. They're theater experiences. You got to check them out. You got to go see them. Shang Chi is also this year, so obviously we're gonna go see that. Mm-hmm. Um, we already mentioned Ghostbusters. Uh, Dune is Dune a theater movie? Like, would we go see Dune? Dune for me wasn't even a watch on TV movie. Same for me. Not a Dune fan. I know Hand is a big Dune. Your father fan. was too, right? That's the reason why I know about Dune. Okay. It's because he was watching it, and I was there watching it with him. And, you know, being a young kid, that freaking Baron, he scared me. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but he did. And But then as watching as an adult, this, it just a book that that big, they just they couldn't do it in a movie. It needs to be like a mini series or something like that to actually fully. Or a series of or a ser- films. Or, or a series of films to right. flesh it out or but something like they, that. They, they never do it. hell bent on, we can get it all done. And one, I'm like, dude, Lord of the Rings got split up into three movies. Why don't you do Dune in yeah. three movies? Right. No, you got to see it all at once. It's like, an experience. Like, get out Dune, of here. Dune is boring, right. me, dude. It was boring as hell. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home will be the movie this year. Yeah, okay. I, I look forward to that. And man. Q-Bay 3000, yes, I was just about to bring this up that Hannibal Omega just said, Dune is now theater only. It's not going to be on HBO Max. They've and that's, that, they and changed that's, that away. Uh, 100% fine. Yep. Fallen said is get, okay, in regards to Fast 9, we're going to turn it over to the people in a moment. Sure. Uh, yeah, I get you. It's got okay, to the point where it's, yes, right, it's, it's dumb fun. Nothing yeah, makes sense yeah. anymore? It's not supposed Fallen, to. It's not supposed exactly. To. Fallen, dude. I love you, bro, but you, movies... Our fiction. Turn your brain off. You got, Especially you on got, the fast you got it for movies. It's just like video games. Turn I mean, your brain seriously. off. A lot of video games. 
They don't make sense. I mean, Mario, he ate a mushroom. Oh, yeah. gross. That don't make sense. Well, here, here's here's why. I mean, look <laughs> at look at look at what they've done. They've basically trained you little by little to accept more and more outrageous stuff in those films. Mm-hmm. All the way up to like the fourth, but the third one was probably the last time they were like, okay, we're kind of we're kind of trying to keep it somewhat grounded. Mm-hmm. Once they got to four, when they brought the original cast back. Mm-hmm. They were like, okay, let's see how, let's see what we can do here. And then, and then five, they were just like, five, they were just like, look, we're gonna drag a safe around Rio, like dog. <laughs> oh, like I said. And then James Bond, right? Now, exactly. granted, the James Bond that's been in the most films was Roger Moore, mm-hmm. and though he is my least favorite Bond, oh my god, uh huh, he's my least favorite Bond. Most of the stuff that he was doing and a lot of stuff is so ridiculous, super cartoonish. Oh, yeah. super cartoonish. Oh, yeah. yep. I mean, it, they are just. I've never liked Roger Moore's movies. I never have. That's I, what I said, I'm have. not a that's fan of Roger Moore's Bond. Um, and then Cassidy seventy five says once again the rock killed it for me how dare you sir the rock is why the that rock movie rejuvenated getting, the that rock, franchise the rock is why that movie's getting bank right now right the, rock the one reju- he was in made half a billion dollars by itself yes all the other ones before that were like in the low like two hundreds yeah. yeah so what what about the the movie he did uh, Hobbs and Shaw How'd that Hobbs and Shaw was freaking awesome Hobbs and Shaw I, was cool, I enjoyed it yeah, yeah I, I don't Shaw know what I don't cool. know what it did money wise but that movie was fun which as is all actually get out. kind of surprising that they haven't followed up and said they're gonna do more oh they probably will because they, they they the the movie led off with like there's going to be more coming right. of this story we're gonna figure out who the big bad is behind um uh what Idris was the name Elvis of that Cal- what was the name of that company Etrian or something like that yeah. Etrian. Yeah. All right, well, you know, let's turn it over to the people. Absolutely. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that clip. Make sure you check out our live content on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash culture junkies. We also have a lot of content available on YouTube, unboxings as well as Blu-ray reviews. And you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash culture junkies. And on top of all of that, if you go to culturejunkies.net, you can check out our merch store. The link is culturejunkies.net slash merch. There's a lot of great merchandise there. So there's links and logos and stuff all around me. So check those out and we will see you next time.